Malim. The topic of our discussion today is intrauterine contraceptive device. First of all, we will study the commonly used types of copper IUCDs, which include, first of all, NOAT, CU200, which provides contraception for up to three years. By CU200 means that it has got 200 millimeter square of copper wire wound in on its stem. The next is that of the multi-load CO375 with the brand name of Protect 5 by the Greenstone and it provides contraception for up to 5 years. Next is Safe Load CO380 which provides contraception for up to 10 years and the last one is Pregna 3 CO380 which provides contraception for up to 10 years. What are the contraindications of IUCD insertion? Those include first of all pregnancy, secondly allergy to the copper, thirdly current or recurrent PID abnormal uterine bleeding, sexually transmitted infections, postpartum endometritis, cervical or endometrial carcinoma, and the molar pregnancy. What is mechanism of action of IUCD? IUCD works by inhibiting fertilization by direct toxicity. An inflammatory reaction within endometrium can also have an anti-implantation effect. Copper is toxic to the ovum and the sperm and the copper content of cervical mucus inhibits the sperm penetration as well. What are the advantages or benefits of IUCD? First of all, it is a long-acting reversible contraceptive method. Secondly, it is cost-effective method. Thirdly, it is hormone-free method of contraception. It is immediately effective method and it has got lower failure rate. It can be used by the patients with the medical disorders. It requires no daily compliance. What are the disadvantages of using IUCD? First disadvantage is that of the spontaneous expulsion. Next is uterine perforation. It has got no protection against STI. It causes irregular vaginal bleeding, painful menstruation, and it requires the healthcare provider for insertion and removal. Let us discuss the procedure of IUCD insertion. First of all, I will introduce myself to the patient and take her introduction. I will make sure that there must be a legitimate indication for IUCD insertion. I will rule out any contraindication to the procedure by taking medical and gynecological history. I will explain the whole procedure and take informed consent. I will make sure that the equipment required are present and ready for use and I will check the expiry date and integrity of the sale. I will ask the patient to empty her bladder and put her on couch in dorsal position. After wearing gloves, I will clean the area and do my manual examination to assess mobility and position of the uterus. Then I will insert the Cusco speculum of appropriate size after lubricating it and fix it to visualize the cervix and clean it by three swabs. I will hold the cervix with a single tooth tenaculum. Then I will sound the uterine cavity to assess the uterine size and position. After mating the size of the uterus, I will load IUCD while keeping it sterile. The ideal way of IUCD insertion is to load IUCD while keeping it sterile in its package. Never touch the IUCD directly. The parts in IUCD package include first of all IUCD itself, secondly the insertion tube, the blue depth gauge, white rod with a circular thumb grip. I will open the package halfway. I will push the two fingers against the arms of IUCD. As I push the insertion tube, the arms will come together. To control the tubes easily, grasp it like a pencil. Pull the tube back as the arms are squeezed together. Then slip the tube over the two arms. Set the insertion tube to the depth of the uterus by using mating strip in the package of the IUCD. Bring the blue gauge to the appropriate size. As we know, we measure the size of the uterus with a uterine sound before opening the package of IUCD. I will hold the IUCD with my fingers and insert the white rod until it reaches the end of the IUCD. The IUCD is now ready to be inserted. I will insert the loaded IUCD through cervical canal inside the uterine cavity till the blue gauge touches the cervix. That gauge can be of white color as well as you can see here. I will hold the solid rod stationary and pull the inserted tube backward till it touches the bar of the solid tube. It will release the arm of T. Now gently push the inserted tube upward till slight resistance is felt to ensure that it is close to the fundus. Then I will withdraw the solid rod keeping the insertion tube stationary. Then gently withdraw the insertion tube by rotating movements and cut the thread 2-3 to cm before the cervix. 
I will remove the instruments applied, clean and reposition and cover the patient and observe for 15 to 30 minutes for any complaint and call her for follow up after the first menstrual cycle. So that was all about IUCD insertion technique along with its contraindication, mechanism of action, advantages and disadvantages. Subscribe on Obsent Guiding. Thank you so much. Allah Hafiz.